Aloha, well, everybody. Welcome to the cramped hearing of the Government Operations Committee. We're here to hear several Senate resos, but first, the notes. Um, we are in room 229. This hearing is being streamed via YouTube. In the unlikely event that we have to abruptly end this hearing due to technical difficulties, we will reconvene to discuss any outstanding business at 3.01 p.m. Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024, in conference from 225 and a public notice will be posted on the legislature's website. Uh, and we'll be facilitating a two minute time limit on testimony, but me thinks we won't be needing to do that. With that being said, <clears throat> the first up is SCR 46, SR 34, and we're gonna take them together since they're duplicative, um, which is requesting DAGs to establish a working group to plan and construct Hawaii First Responders Memorial. Uh, we have first testimony um, from the DAGs. They have written in support. Um, we have Kurt Kendro, a major retired president of HLEMF. I believe they're on Zoom. Oh, there he is. Go ahead, sir. Hi, good afternoon, Sharon. Sure. Thanks for having me today. My name is Kurt Kendro. I'm a retired major from the Honolulu Police Department. Thank you for allowing me to testify today. Um, mostly we're just in strong support of this resolution and uh, this is a great first step to honor those heroes that um, have cool. gave their lives selflessly in service of our community um, especially when you look at I mean I had the pleasure and honor of working with many of those first responders uh, Mandy Shiraki I can't tell you how many scenes that we worked together uh, Pete Cliff Rigsby Peter Crown um, and not only those responders who have lost their lives in, in the line of duty, but you know, all the law enforcement officers that I've worked with side by side who are now on the law enforcement memorial. So thank you very much for hearing the bill number, the resolution number one. Number two, I hope you'll move it forward because we need to honor these heroes. We need a place of honor for not only the family members, but the peers of these heroes who died in, in the line of duty. And this is a great first step and I hope that you move this resolution forward. And thank you for the opportunity to testify this okay. afternoon. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you so much. Um, we also have uh, on the same thing, um, it, actually, we already have a testimony for the um, DAGs. That's all we have on the measures. Is there anybody in the audience wishing to testify on this resolution? Seeing none, <clears throat> members' questions? Okay. Uh, and we will move on to actually I have a quick question. Is our testifier still on Zoom? No. Okay, I guess they're not. All right, we'll move on to the next one. I'm here. Okay. Sorry, yeah, they oh, are here. available. Oh, okay. Sorry. A quick, quick question. This came up uh, in a discussion. Um, you know, are, are there other like do the other do the firefighters or the police do they already have their own memorial or commissions working on that kind of memorial? Or is this would this help to facilitate a memorial for, for them as well. So the Hawaii Law Enforcement Memorial was built and established in 2016 and is on the grounds of the Kalani Moku building. Um, if you have some time, I encourage you to walk across the street over there and see the 80 names of fallen law enforcement officers. Fire department, lifeguards, uh, EMS personnel, flight crews, medics that are in transit. Like Mandy was a uh, MICT with the Honolulu EMS, and he died in a flight um, bringing patients back to Oahu. They do not have a memorial. There is a memorial for the Honolulu Fire Department on their headquarter grounds only for the Honolulu Fire Department um, personnel that have lost their lives in the line of duty, but there is not one for all, all statewide um, like a law enforcement memorial. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, any other questions, Jennifer? If not, we, we will move on to the next resolutions on our agenda, which is asking the Legislative Reference Bureau to conduct a study of understanding and implementing a process for a continuous legislative session uh, and its relative impacts on the state. And so there was no testimony on the measure. So seeing that anybody wishing to testify, seeing none, no questions to ask. So we'll move on to the next one. Um, which is SCR 174, SR 150, requesting a 21st century data governance task force to be convened to assess current demographic data collection, processing retention, 
and sharing procedures utilized by all state agencies. And with that lengthy title, we will go on to the first testifier, which is Department of Health. They have written testimony in support. Uh, we have our new director of OPSD. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, uh, Member. Uh, the Office of Planning uh, testifies in strong support of this resolution. Uh, the legislature had passed a bill uh, last year, it became Act 136, that had created a working group uh, that was supposed to be able to provide a report, an interim report, to you uh, in December. We were not able to do that uh, due to, you know, the Lahaina wildfires, you know, uh, taking some of our uh, staff time. Um, so what we uh, want to do is with this resolution, extend the deadline for submitting a report to you. We believe that disaggregating data uh, that state agencies collect for all kinds of services to reflect Hawaii's diverse uh, population is something that we need to do, but it would us take coordination. Mm -hmm. uh, this working group has, has OHA on it, it has Department of Health, it will have Department of Education as an invited uh, expert, Department of Human Services, uh, and the Office of Planning and Sustainable Development, just simply because it's the right thing to do. And you're in there now, right? Okay, all right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> we have Doug Murdoch, um, Office of Enterprise uh, Technology Services. Good afternoon, Chair and the uh, committee members. I am Rebecca Kai, I'm the Chief Data Officer of BPS. I'm here to represent BPS. Mm -hmm. We're in support of this bill mm -hmm. and we stand on our written testimony. Okay, yep. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have Thomas Lee, Lead of Strategic Partnerships for the Hawaii Data Collaborative. We're obviously not here. Um, anybody else on Zoom testifying? If not, members' questions. Uh, I have a quick question for ETS. Hey. Wait. Wait. <laughs> question for you? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, real quickly, um, is this group going to be looking at aggregating data, but also is it going to be looking at data security as part of its functionary um, work? And so far as it, when you're aggregating all this data, data collection, is data security going to be any kind of thought or part of the, of the group at all? Oh, for this group? Yeah. Oh, I can't see the data security in the current resolution. But that's a good point. Because that's a huge, yeah, yeah, that's a really huge point because yeah. that's well, PII is a big issue mm -hmm. right now. So exactly. if we were to amend the resolution to reflect that, would you guys be in support of it? Well, when you're looking at linking data together, then security has to be, you know, and anonymization and other factors like that have to be that. Well, we'll have, well, hopefully what we'll do is we'll have you guys talk about it when it gets heard at the next committee. Yeah. Okay. We'll give you guys a chat more about that. Okay. And I think he's here. Lauren. Yeah, yeah. We got your written testimony, Great. first of all. Uh, second, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, normally, we like to give flexibility to the departments by naming the director or a designee thereof to be the representative. Mm -hmm. If we were to do that, would you be comfortable with that? Or do you think it's important that you be specifically named your entity within the RESO as the lead agency? Uh, we are willing to be the lead agency. Yeah. It, um, I think for the executive branch, it's just clearer if somebody's named. Uh, well, we're named, yeah, we, oh. if we name the director and say he could designate somebody. Yeah, the director of health or designate. Yeah, that's what I was going to put in there. You, you, I'm comfortable with that. No, okay, This great. is important work. Um, yeah, no, it is. And I talked with the, you know, the proponent of the measure. And so we agreed to ask this question over the table. And, yes, we're, ha we're happy to serve in that capacity. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other questions? 
if not, thank you so much. We will move on to the um, next one, which is SCR 228, Federal Government to Reimburse what e for Debris Removal of Lahaina Harbor. Um, we have no written testimony on the measure. However, is anybody in the audience wishing to testify? Please, sir. Hello. My name is Paele Kiyokona. I'm a representative with Lahaina Strong. I'm also president of Save Honolulu Coalition and a multi-generational family out of Lahaina. Uh, I am in full support of this resolution. I do see that a lot of the necessary works sometimes are delayed due to the lack of funding. And I believe this will help us get, expedite the process as to, you know, to go in and clean these harbors. The current 99% of the year runs from Puamana into Lahaina. The longer we let debris sit and settle at the bottom of the ocean, the further that this toxic debris and this tox toxicity coming from the boats and everything that burned in that area will make its way down into Mala area. My family, I've grown up fishing, diving um, down in Mala. My family is a multi-generational Pelu family. And we've seen how, you know, due to the, the lack of paying attention to our environment, that the degradation of our reefs and our systems there. And I believe that this could cause unfathomable uh, issues down the line, not only for the direct um, effect that this toxicity will have on the reefs in that area, but also uh, in the future, once all of this debris and dioxins and everything that, you know, a bunch of carcinogens can make its way into the food chain and our people begin to eat it. So I'm in full support of this resolution. Okay. Thank Mahalo. you so much for being today. Uh, anybody else wishing to testify? No? Okay. Uh, if not, go to the questions or testifiers. No? If so not, I believe... No, I don't think we do. If you're out there in Zoom land, if you want to weigh in, please do. Yeah, I don't think we do. But we appreciate you being here testifying and making those points. Um, I believe we're going to re go ahead and we've reached the end of the agenda. So we're going to go ahead and recess for decision making. And we'll do decision making um, after our on this agenda after our joint agenda is coming up. So we'll recess out of this agenda until then. Okay, we okay. We're going to go ahead and commence our hearing, a joint hearing between our committee on government operations and um, our good friends from agriculture environment on several resos. Um, again, we're in room two two five, being streamed live via YouTube. Um, the event we have to abruptly end this hearing due to technical difficulties. We'll reconvene here, 225, Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024, at 3.02 p.m. And we will post a public notice on the legislature's website. And not that we'll need it, but we'd like to do a two-minute time limit rule. Uh, okay, let's see. First up, we have uh, oh, also my co-chair and vice chair of agriculture. Thank you for joining us. First up, urging DAG, Department of County General Services, to develop a comprehensive recycling program to be implemented in all offices of the Hawaii State Capitol. And first, we have testimony from DAGs. Hi, Jimmy Karaka, DAG Central Services. Um, we supported, we supported um, submitted testimony, supporting intent. We had some comments. Yeah, it was nice. We saw that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, okay, next up we have Jacqueline Ambrose, written in support. Uh, and again, I think he's a double testimony here, Keith Regan Daggs, uh, supporting, as was clarified, the intent. That's all we have on SCR 112, SR 94. Anybody else wishing to testify? Seeing none, members, plural question. S plural, okay, seeing none, we will move on to the next one. SCR 131, SR 113, what is... Requesting Hawaii's congressional delegation to urge Congress to fund the construction of a laboratory certified by the EPA 
to provide information to the public environmental toxins in the state, on environmental toxins in the state. And we have first up is Wayne Tanaka, Sierra Club, written in support. Abby Simmons, co-chair of Legislative Committee of the Democratic Party of Hawaii, or Chris Cofield, uh, in support, written. Um, we have Leigh from Ernie Lau, Board of Water Supply, uh, in support. Um, let's see, Charles Ice, written in support. And again, Jacqueline Ambrose, written in support. Uh, that's all we, oh, I'm sorry. Um, and we have B.A. McClintock, who testified on the SR only, written in support. Uh, and then we have, I guess, via Zoom, a Melody um, from the Democratic Party Environmental Caucus. Go ahead and begin. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, this is a very important resolution as we have to urge the Hawaii congressional delegation to fund an EPA certified lab. It's been uh, a very necessary infrastructure that we needed to have done, especially in light of Red Hill, as well as PFAS. If I could just give you an example uh, with regards to PFAS, uh, there was a test that was done by the Department of Health back in October. Uh, however, without having a EPA certified lab on island, the, a sample, a confirmation sample had to be sent to California uh, to its EPA certified lab and then come back. So the first test was taken by DOH in October. Uh, the sample went to California and was returned back to Hawaii in November. Then DOH in November, December took another test in order to determine whether there was PFAS in this well. And this is Cunea well number three. And uh, they took that sample in, let's uh, see, October, November, December, come January. That's when the confirmation sample came back from the mainland. And that is when notice went out to those that reside in Cunea village that uh, they did have PFAS in their well. So that was a four months uh, delay before the public was made aware that their wells was giving out contaminated water. In that case, then uh, bottled water, uh, Minihuni water, five gallon jugs were given out. But with, here we are looking at people that are uh, mostly plantation workers and mostly Filipino immigrants. And so they did not understand the gravity of having PFAS in their water. So there's that's one example. Other examples are with regards to Red Hill. Lots of the samples that are done locally are just the rapid tests. And the rapid test uh, is not as efficient or accurate as an EPA certified lab. Now an EPA certified lab can test 105 chemicals in the drinking water. So it is very important again we're looking at a two week to a month turnaround time. By then the harm has happened to the individual as well as to the environment. Uh, please pass this resolution. We really do need to have an EPA certified lab on island for the protection of our citizens as well as the environment. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. We appreciate your testimony. Anybody else out there on Zoom wish to testify? Seeing none, members, are there any questions of our sole testifier? Seeing none, I'm going to turn it over to our good co-chair for the lead on the next resolution. Thank you, Chair. Uh, on SCR 152 and SR 130, requesting the city and county of Honolulu to collaborate with the state to expand community gardening opportunities for residents. First up is DLNR. Um, they have comments. Uh, Brian Miyamoto from the Farm Bureau, Hawaii Farm Bureau, is in support, as well as Jacqueline Ambrose, Elena Y, and Lisa Grandinetti in support. Anyone else wishing to testify on these two measures? Seeing none, members, are there any questions? Okay, Chair, I'll turn it back over to you. All right, thank you very much. What we're going to do is go right into decision making without nary missing a beat. So the first one we heard in the joint hearing was SCR 112, SR. Oh, do we? Oh, you guys don't have Well, we do have GBO. We'll just vote GBO side. Yeah, okay. We'll just vote on our own then right now. Okay, so I'll go slow. Uh, are you doing the GBO? Yeah. For the ADM. 
No, we're doing the GDO ADN for the GDO side. Oh, okay. Um, oh, um, no, 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 it's fine. I, I do it. Okay, we're good. We're good on our end. So we'll go ahead and vote. Okay, so the first. Yes, we got one. Okay. <laughs> Try this again, shall we? Wait, no, we got. Yeah, but no, it's a member. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right, first one up again uh, on the joint hearing, SCR 11294, urging the Department of Accounting General Services to do a recycling program. Um, we noticed that the support from the DAGs was contingent upon money. They can do this already, and they will save money. So recommendation of conferring with my co-chair is we amend the reso to a demand reso by saying that we are demanding that the Department of Accounting General Services Institute Recycling Program. And uh, members, any questions or comments? If not, Vice Chair, SCR 112, uh, SD1. Pass with amendments. Pass with amendments. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, Chair votes on. Your chair. Yeah, I just go first, yes. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> that was conferred. <laughs> Um, Senator Dabbard. Aye. Okay, I vote aye. Senator Wakai is excused and Senator Awa is excused. Okay, thank you, GBO members. Uh, same recommendation for AEN. Any discussion? Chair votes aye. Senator Rhodes? Chair's recommendation on SCR 112 and SR 94 is to pass with amendments. Chair Gabbard votes yes. Vice Chair is excused. Senator Coit. Aye. I'll vote yes. Um, Senator Watt is excused. Recommendations are adopted. Thank you, members. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next up, we have SCR 131. Um, oh, we have to vote on the SCR as well. Right? Sorry. We have vote together. Together. Yes. Yes. together. We don't. No, no we didn't do it together. Right? Yeah. yeah, we did it. We did it together. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, along that note, uh, SCR 131, SR 113. Requesting Hawaii's congressional delegation to fund the construction of the EPA certified lab. Confirmed with my co-chair, we do have to do a Senate draft one because there are a need of technical non-substantive amendments for clarity, consistency, and style. Uh, members, any questions or comments? If not, um, SCR 131, SR 113, Senate draft one, I vote yes. Just recommendations to pass with amendments. Are there any no's? Are there any WR seeing none? Um, Chair, the recommendation has been adopted. Okay, thank you. And for AEN, same recommendation. Any discussion? Chair votes aye. Chair's recommendation on SCR 131 and SR 113 is passed with amendment. Chair Gabbard votes aye. Uh, Vice Chair is excused. Senator Coy. Aye. I vote yes. Senator Wah is excused. Recommendations are adopted. Thank you, members. And then on the Final measure on the 330 agenda, SCR 152 and SR 130, requesting the city and county of Honolulu to collaborate with the state to expand community gardening opportunities for residents. The chair's recommendation will be to pass as is. Any discussion? Senator Rhodes, chair votes aye. Chair's recommendation on SCR 152 and SR 130 is to pass on amended. Chair, unamended. Chair Gabbard votes yes. Vice Chair is excused. Senator Coy. Aye. I'll vote yes. Senator Wah is excused. Recommendations are adopted. Thank you, members. Thank you, Committee and Government Operations. Same recommendation as it is. I vote yes. Um, Chair's recommendation is passed as is. Um, Noting the excused absences of Senators Wakai and Awa. Are there any reservations? Are there any notes? None. Chair, recommendations are adopted. Okay, this adjourns and concludes our joint hearing. Welcome back, everybody, to the government operations agenda that we had today, uh, 3 o'clock. First was SCR 46, SR 34, requesting the Department of County General Services 
to establish a working group to plan and construct this Hawaii First Responders Memorial, even though there is a fire and police one already, clearly there's a desire to see some kind of a state one, one for other services in the county. So we do have to make some technical non-substantive amendments, uh, amendments for clarity, consistency, and style. And with that, it'll be a Senate draft one. Members' questions or comments? If not, Vice Chair SCR 46, SR 34, Senate draft one, I vote yes. Okay, Chair yes. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Sanguina Ventura? Aye. Senator Wakai, excuse. Senator Owa, excuse. Measure passes. Hey, thank you very much. Next one we heard is SCR 51, SR 39, requesting the Legislative Reference Bureau to conduct a study to understand and implement a process for a legislative session. Um, on this one, you know, we didn't have LRB testify. We'd love to have them weigh in. However, we'd like to continue this on with amendments um, to facilitate uh, further meaningful conversation, increase scrutiny of a legislative session, uh, legislative measures. We ask that LRB conduct a study of continuous legislature, extending the legislative session and adding additional recess days. And we're also gonna put in the committee report that due to certain holidays surrounding deadline dates, the committees lose hearing days, which limits the time that the members have to review measures. And more importantly, the public has to deliberate and give input on it. Questions? Yes. Yes. Um, seeing that we had no testimony on this, um, is it also going to be are you also going to amend the measure to ensure that LRB also look into <laughs> the impact that special sessions that the Senate has regarding appointments and also... Well, that would be handled, that would be handled, uh, I mean, that would be handled separately. It's, 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 about, it's talking about them just on the regular sessions. Okay. Yeah, but well, you're right, that's good. Why don't we put that in the committee report if the next committee chooses to hear it? If you're asking for continuous legislative calendar. Well, then we'll be in session anyway. And so we'll be able to vote on it. See what I'm saying? So. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, also to look into the effect um, legislators have in, in working groups that they are going to be appointed. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, we will note that in the committee report. Uh, any other members any other questions or comments? If not, uh, SCR 51, SR 39, Senate Draft 1, I vote yes. Vice Chair votes yes. Sen Sen Senator Sandwin and Matura? Still with reservations. Okay, and uh, Senators Wakai and Awa are excused. The measure passes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, SCR 174, SR 150, 21st Century Data Governance Task Force. Um, based upon the question and answering, what we're going to do is we're going to change Department of Health's Office of Health Equity to the Director of the Department of Health for designee, which would then obviously allow Mr. Pang to serve, Mr. <clears throat> sorry, just allow him to serve in that capacity uh, in the working group. Um, and of course, Department of Health will be the lead agency, and as was noted, OPSD is already in there. Members' questions, comments? If not, Vice Chair SCR 174, SR 150, Senate Draft 1, I vote yes. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Sandwin and Tura? Aye. Me. Excuse me. Senator Wakai and Awa, the measure passes. Thank you so much. And finally, SCR 228, SR 2204, uh, urging the federal government to reimburse the state for cleanup of Lahaina Harbor. We did have testimony from Lahaina Strong about how that not cleaning up now with federal funds uh, could lead to greater costs and impacts later. So the recommendation is as is, but we want to note in the committee report that in a meeting with DLNR, it was represented that a request for debris removal was denied by the federal government. However, in subsequent inquiries to FEMA, they said they never received such a request from DLNR and are open to it. So this warrants both agencies that, that hopefully the next committee hears it to come to the table because there's time limit on federal funds for this important cleanup. Members' questions, comments, if not Vice Chair, SCR 228, SR 204 as is. 
Shem Kelvi, Agoyas, sorry. Vice Chair Otsai, Senator Sam Ben Matura. Excuse of Senator Wakai and Awa. The measure passes. Okay, thank you very much. This concludes the hearing. Aloha, welcome to the 335 joint hearing between ourselves and the amazing committee on transportation. Amazing. Like that. <laughs> oh. uh, room 225 is the site of this hearing, stream live on YouTube. In the unlikely event, we have to abruptly end the hearing due to technical difficulties. We will reconvene to discuss any outstanding business at 3.03 p.m. Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. This room, public notice will be posted on the legislature's website. Um, probably won't need it, but a two minute um, time limit testimony is usually the standard. And so one reso and one reso only, SCR 110, SR 92, requesting the city and county of Honolulu to transfer the state to the state, the city and county uh, of Honolulu's authority to construct a Makakilo Drive extension. And with that, we have testimony from John and Rita Shockley, Free Access Coalition. Not in the room and not on Zoom, right? It's a no. And Mike Goliuk Sr., uh, Palihua Townhouse Association. The first, the first. And he has written in support. And that's all we have um, on the resolution. Um, seeing that there's nobody here to ask questions of, we really can't ask questions of anybody. So, seeing that, um, do you want to go ahead and just take the Okay, sounds good. Um, well, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this rezo out. Um, I was curious to use this as a vehicle to have a cost share discussion, which came up between the county and state, whereby the state would build bridges for these projects and the agreement that the county builds the road portion. But given the urgency of the community to have this issue directly on point, our recommendation is to go as is. Any questions or comments? If not, but can we put in the committee report, co-chair? Sure. Okay, we'll do that in the committee report. My music. Okay, any more questions or comments? If not, um, SCR 110, SR 92, uh, recommendation is as is. I vote yes. So, yes Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Sanborn and Ventura is excused. Senator Wakai? Yes. Senator Owa? Excuse. The measure passes. Sir. Okay, thank you very much to you. Thank you. TCA committee, same recommendation. SCR 110 SR 92 chair's recommendation for TCA is to pass unamended, correct? Correct. Sir. Okay. Uh, chair Lee. Aye. Vice chair is excused. Senator Elefante. Aye. I vote aye. Senator Wa is excused. Chair recommendations are adopted. Okay. Thank you much, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend.